Hey, what's up YouTube? How are you guys doing today? So this is actually the third uh, review video that I'm filming today, which means I'm wearing the same exact outfit in all three of these videos. So what I have for you guys today is a microphone review of the Mirafak Audio N2. It's a compact on-camera shotgun microphone. It looks like it records in a cardioid polar pattern. The frequency range is from 35 to 18,000 hertz. And it looks like it will come with a 3.5 millimeter T TRS and TRRS connector, which means that you should be able to use this with a camera like I will be showing in this video, and you should also be able to use it on a smartphone with that TRRS connector. So just as a reference guys, I'm actually using a shotgun microphone on my camera right now. It is the Comica CVM V30. It's the same exact price as this microphone right here. They both go for $39.99. Before I started using this microphone, the Comica microphone, I was using the Rode VideoMic Go, but then I switched over to the Comica microphone and I I can't believe it guys, the, the Rode VideoMic Go goes for $100. I do not remember it being that expensive when I bought this. But anyways guys, let me show you guys the Amazon page really quick before we get into this. This is it right here guys, if you look over here, it goes for $39.99, comes with free shipping, and there's a picture of it over there. You know you got the two cables, the TRS and the TRRS. It looks like it has a nice wind muff. And I will have the link to this Amazon page linked down in the description of this video in case you wanna check it out for yourself. I'll also go ahead and include the links to the Rode Video Mic Go and also the Comica CVM V30 because what I want to do is I want to compare this microphone right here to each of those microphones so we can see which one sounds better. So as usual, I'll be doing a quick unboxing followed by a demonstration followed by a review. And if you decide at any point during this video that you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like, that would help me out so much. And if you'd like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. I'm going to be uploading new microphone reviews every Monday, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at everything we got inside the box. It looks like right here we have some sort of instruction manual. Over here we got, I don't know what this is, let's see. Yeah, it's not in English. Over here we have one of these wind muffs. These are good for like super windy situations. Some people call these a uh, dead cat. And right here we have the TRS and the TRRS cables. Over here we have a few extra uh, elastic bands. And then right here we have like the shock mount slash mic holder. Really cool, so that's how, you know, it's gonna keep the microphone suspended right in there. And then over here, we have the actual microphone and let's just go ahead and get a good a good look at this yeah there we go guys so there's the microphone the front of the microphone here's the back where you plug in the cable it looks really nice i mean for the size of it i wouldn't say it's got a lot of weight but i want to say it's got the right it feels like it has just the right amount of weight to it and then, of course, it also came with, you know, your classic wind muff right here. So let's just go ahead and get this thing set up and we'll try it out. All right, guys, so I got the microphone set up. It was pretty simple to do. All you need to do is snap the actual microphone into the little circular bit in the middle of the shock mount. If you want, you can add one of the wind muffs like I did, and then you need to plug one of the cables into the back. Now, earlier I was talking about a TRS cable and a TRRS cable. I plugged in the TRS cable because I'm going to be using this on my camera. If you want to use this microphone with your smartphone, you're going to want to use the TRRS cable. The way that you can tell them apart is the TRRS cable will have three black rings on it. So this cable right here, this is a TRRS cable because it has the three rings on it and you can use this with your smartphone like your iPhone or whatever. This cable right here, this is a TRS cable and I'm using this one because I'm going to be plugging it into my camera. If you're going to be using like a DSLR camera or something, this is the cable you're going to want to use. The Comica microphone that I have on my camera right now, it has a switch on the back where you could switch from smartphone or camera. The Rode VideoMic Go, it actually only comes with the TRS cable so if you want 
want to use it on a smartphone, you would actually have to go ahead and buy the uh, cable separately. And um, of course you could take it out, you know. So let's go ahead and test out this microphone. Just to let you guys know, the microphone that I have on top of my camera right now, the Comica shotgun microphone. This is the microphone that I use to like record the majority, the vast majority of my YouTube videos. And in every single video in post when I'm editing my video, I always have to put a denoiser plug in onto the footage because this microphone itself, you know, it picks up quite a bit of hiss. And I'll show you exactly what I mean right now. So that's how this microphone sounds with no denoiser. When I put the denoiser on it, it sounds like this. As you can hear, there's a pretty big difference. A lot of people ask me which denoiser plugin I use, and I just use the stock built-in denoiser in Adobe Premiere Pro. Most video editing softwares probably have some form of a denoiser. I would just figure out which one your software has. And when we do go to test out this microphone, I'm not going to put any denoiser on it. We're going to hear the audio from this microphone raw, and then I will put a denoiser on it, and then we could hear how it sounds with the denoiser as well. So on the count of three, I'm going to switch from the microphone on top of my camera to this microphone right here. One, two, three. All right, guys, so the audio that you... I just wanna check my volume levels. Okay, we're good. So this is how the Murfac microphone sounds. There is no denoiser on it, so I'm curious to see if there's going to be any kind of hiss. If there is any hiss on the audio, I'm going to go ahead and put a denoiser on it right now. And this is how it sounds with the denoiser. Feel free to let me know what you guys think about this audio right now in the comments below. Um, and right now I'm going to take the denoiser off again. So now we're hearing the raw audio from the Mirafac microphone again. Once again, feel free to let me know how it sounds. And on the count of three, I'm going to switch back over to my Comica microphone. I'm not going to put a denoiser on it or anything, so we can compare the audio of this microphone to this microphone back to back. One, two, three. All right guys, now you are hearing the raw audio from my Comica microphone. And on the count of three, we're going to switch over to the Rode VideoMic Go, and I'm not going to put a denoiser on it either. So let's switch over on the count of three. One, two, three. Okay, now the audio that you are hearing is coming from the Rode VideoMic Go. This is the raw audio no denoiser plugin. Let me know what you guys think. You might have noticed I have some zip ties around the Rode mic, and that's because the shock mount actually snapped. The microphone itself is not damaged. And now on the count of three, we're going to switch back over to the Mirafac microphone so we can compare the audio side by side. One, two, three. All right guys, you are now hearing the raw audio from the Mirafac microphone again. Now what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be taking all this footage onto my computer and I'm going to be listening to the audio from the different microphones and I'll give you guys my final review. All right guys, so I'm back. I just reviewed all that footage and now you're hearing my regular normal audio again. It's my Comica microphone with the denoiser plug-in. And when I was reviewing that footage, I was wearing headphones so I could listen very carefully. I previously did a video where I compared the Comica microphone to the Rode VideoMic Go. And some people said they liked the Comica microphone more. Some people I think might have liked the Rode microphone more. But in my opinion, I mean, they're very similar sounding microphones. And even compared to this Mirafac microphone, they are all just so similar to each other. But if we really want to dive in deep and like kind of nitpick at like the differences between the three, they they all pretty much had a pretty similar hiss, the raw audio. They all had a pretty similar hiss. And if you want to go back and listen to that footage again where I was comparing the microphones, I definitely recommend wearing some good headphones so you could really hear what's going on. But I feel like the Rode video might go. The hiss coming from the Rode microphone, I felt like was a slightly higher pitch than the Mirafac microphone and the Comica microphone. I feel like both the Comica microphone and the Mirafac microphone, I feel like the hiss that they produced was kind of like the same pitch, whereas the Rode video might go, that pitch was a little bit higher, so like it might have been a little bit less noticeable, or it might have made it sound like a little softer. Since the Comica microphone and the Mirafac microphone, in my opinion, sound the most similar one thing that I can say is I think that the Comica microphone may have picked up the audio just ever so slightly louder than the Mirafac microphone one issue that I recall having with the Rode microphone 
in case you're deciding which microphone you want to go with. The Rode microphone, you know, sometimes it picks up weird interference from just like any any electronics. I mean, I have a lamp right here, just a regular lamp on my desk. Let me see if I could show it. And sometimes I remember, not all the time, but sometimes if I had this, my camera too close to that lamp, sometimes this microphone would pick up some interference from that lamp. Or even my Comica microphone, very recently, I would say within the past like maybe two weeks or so, I started noticing that it'll it'll get like some, some weird interference just out of nowhere and I'm not sure where that's coming from, but it used to never do that. It's just something that recently started happening. But as far as interference goes, the Comica microphone wins over the Rode microphone. This picked up way more interference than the Comica microphone. As far as the Mirafac microphone, you know, today's the only day that I actually tested it out. We did not experience any interference. Um, the Comica microphone, even today while I was filming this video, there were a few instances where it did pick up a little bit of interference. Now, one thing to keep in mind, um, now we're, we're going back to the hardware. We're going back to the hardware, not so much how the microphones sound. Um, one thing is that I do like about the Rode microphone is that the shoe mount right here, I don't know if you guys could see this, this is actually made out of metal and it makes it very easy to slide in and out of your camera. The Mirafac microphone, it's plastic, it doesn't slide quite as nicely as the metal one does and the Comica microphone is the same as the Mirafac, it has a plastic one. So I mean, that's just a small difference right there. Another thing you might want to keep in mind, and I'm not sure if I like it yet, the fact that the microphone is being held by these rubber bands. I don't know, I, I'm just not sure how secure those are, or like if over time, like in a year, will will those rubber bands still be intact? Will they, you know, will they get weaker as time goes on? I kind of feel like having a plastic mount, I mean, look at mine, mine my uh, plastic mount broke, but I almost feel like the solid plastic shock mount might be a little sturdier than some rubber bands. The Mirafac microphone definitely gets extra points because it comes with this wind muff right here. I think that's really cool. But if it came down to it and I had to recommend one of these three microphones to somebody watching this video, I would most likely recommend going with either the Mirafac microphone or the Comica microphone. Both of these microphones cost the same exact price. The Rode microphone's like $100 right now. I just feel like that's a little expensive. Plus you, you might get that interference problem like I used to get. But I definitely think that the Mirafac microphone is worth the price. I think that is a very fair price for this microphone. I like how it's kind of small and compact. I like that it came with this wind muff right here. I like that it came with both the TRS and the TRRS cables. And I think that just about covers everything. Remember guys, I will have the link to this microphone down in the description below in case you wanna check it out. And I'll also have the links to the Rode Video Mic Go and also the Comica Shotgun Microphone. I'll have those links down in the description below as well in case you wanna check those out. If you guys are on Instagram, give me a follow there. My handle is at YT underscore Tobias. I'll put it right here on the screen. And if you guys like this video or if this video helped you out, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like that would help me out tremendously and if you'd like to see more videos by me in the future make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button and i will talk to you guys in my next video peace